All right, St. Maud. This A24 horror was supposed to come out, I think, in 2019, then it was pushed to 2020, and we all know what happened that year. It was released in the UK last fall, but those of us in the US have had to just wait. It's finally arriving, but is it worth the hype and the wait? Maud, a newly devout hospice nurse, becomes obsessed with saving her dying patient's soul. But sinister forces and her own sinful past threaten to put an end to her holy calling. First off, this is a quick watch. It's only 84 minutes long, so it's not a huge time commitment at all. We're introduced to Maud with some very unsettling imagery. And then we get to see her as she prepares to go to her job as a hospice nurse. There's a lot of religious elements on display in her apartment, and her mannerisms begin to show us that she holds dearly to her religious beliefs. We're not exactly sure what those beliefs really are, but they seem to fall kind of in line with some sort of Catholicism. Maud's hospice patient is a former dancer named Amanda, and apparently she's varying in her likability. She seems kind, but could also be a handful at times. Maud forms a connection with Amanda, and it appears the connection is reciprocal. Amanda looks like she's enjoying Maud's company and gifts her with a book with an inscription to Saint Maud. So this is quiet for a lot of the movie. We watch Maud slowly go about her daily routine of cooking and cleaning, preparing meds, and bathing Amanda. Sometimes they have conversations, but we mainly just see Maud doing her tasks. I felt detached from Maud. I never really connected with her on an emotional level. I was always at least an arm's length from her, and I'm not sure I was meant to actually be able to empathize with her. I guess at one point I could feel a little sorry at her situation, but I'm also conflicted in that because of how the circumstances came to be. Morphid Clark gives a really good performance as Maud. She's very convincing in the role of a woman who's kind of on that fringe. A lot of that comes by her decision for her faith. She has strong convictions and stands by them, which is respectable. But there also comes a point in the film where she seems to turn her back completely on her beliefs. Is it a moment of weakness? Is she having doubts as to what she believes? Or is there something more to it? There is some brief but vivid imagery that's really disturbing. It's building clues to her past, which could have been the impetus for her new religious convictions. There are some points where she repents of her thoughts or behaviors, and <laughs> no thank you, I'd rather just speak my repentance than do what she does. Now, without giving too much away, we really get to see a transformative journey in Maud. She has some character growth that is both disturbing and dark. The angles and the way this was shot are really effective in giving us a detached feeling and a sense of unease. There are points also where we get to see intimately into Maud's eyes and expressions, and a couple of times they use the darkness really well to illuminate a pinpoint of light on Maud's pupils. It gives this otherworldly feel to her, and it, it's kind of unsettling. Now, the climax of the film comes pretty quickly, and there's this point where the story snaps and just gets crazy. We go from quiet and odd to intense and frenetic in the blink of an eye. And I really enjoyed that abrupt transition because it was shocking but effective. I really enjoyed Clark's performance and got into the story, but I'm not sure that at its core, this is new or a groundbreaking story. I mean, the circumstances for the plot aren't unique, and they even felt a little bit stale. And again, that is not to take away from Clark and her portrayal of Maud. I mean, she built a troubled and disturbing character. And even the execution of the story is enjoyable. I just think this had the opportunity to take it further. On the religious side, a film like, say, First Reformed, another A24 film, it played up the pious and troubled spirit in a way more disturbing way. Overall, this isn't a bad watch, but it honestly isn't something that is going to stick with me. There are several other horrors or even psychological horrors from recent years that I think are way more impactful. There is sex, nudity, profanity, and some brutal violence. I give St. Maud three out of five couches. So do you have a favorite religious-themed horror or a horror where beliefs provide the backbone for the story? Mine still right now is hereditary, but let me know yours in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.